This video is just going to introduce a few extra things that we didn't get to talk about when we first introduced the clean star and plus operators. So a few important identities. What you'll need for this is to be reasonably familiar what we, with what we mean by the clean star operator and the clean plus operators, what a closure is, and what concatenation means for languages. So not for strings, for languages. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how the clean operators are related to each other. So the relationship is that if the empty string is part of the language L, then the L plus and L clean are exact sorry, yeah, L plus and L clean are exactly the same set. They're the same result. If the empty string is not part of the language, then the then the L plus is simply L clean minus the empty string. So it's the exact same set, except all we've got is we no longer have the empty string in it. So we can see that the overall actual relationship that's always true is that L clean is the L plus of the language unioned with the set containing only the empty string. So the only difference between the for any language between what we get when we L plus it and when we L clean it, when, sorry, when we clean plus it and when we clean star, is that if we didn't already have the empty string in the language, then L clean will add the empty string in. But if uh, the empty string was already in the language, then L clean and L plus are going to be exactly the same thing. The second little thing that we're going to clear up is what the closure of a language is under concatenation, how that relates to clean. So let's say we have this language here, A, B, and C. Now, is L closed under concatenation? So remember, concatenation when it comes to languages, so in this case, LL, is the set made up from concatenating all possible pairs of strings from the original language. So in this case, all of these strings are of length one. But if we go through and we look, we can concatenate A with itself and get the string AA. So AA, as a string, will be in L concatenated with itself, but it is not in the original language L. So therefore, it's not conclosed under a concatenation, because we've just applied a concatenation and ended up with something outside the set. So what if we just did L concatenated with L? Maybe we'll add all of the um, strings in that we need, and now the result will be cl closed. So what is L2? Well, it's going to be AA, AB, AC, BA, BB, BC, and CA, CB, CC. Cool. Okay. So this now con contains all of the elements after we've concatenated. But remember, when we talk about closure, we don't, don't just mean one step of an operation. We have to still be able to see that the resulting thing is still closed under the, op under the operation. So in this case, we have to now be able to concatenate any of these and still end up in the set. Otherwise, L2 is not closed under concatenation. Now, obviously, we can straight away grab AA, just like we did before, concatenate it to itself, and get the string of four A's, which is not in L2. So L2 is not closed. We can see that for any finite n, that we'll always be able to grab two strings in it, concatenate them, and end up with a string that wasn't in the set. But if we consider the limit as n goes to infinity, so always bounded finite length strings, but all of the strings that we can possibly build by concatenating L with itself, we end up with the clean plus of L. Now in this case, what happens if we concatenate two elements in L clean plus? Well, we end up with something that can be made by concatenating elements of L any arbitrary number of times. But by definition, that must have been in L clean plus because that's what we said L clean plus was. So now we can see that L clean plus is closed under concatenation. But we said that L clean plus contained all of the strings that we could make by concatenating elements from L over and over again. So 
if we were to remove any elements from Lclean Plus, that element would no longer be in there, but by definition would have been able to be, have been made by concatenating elements of L. So we can see that we can't reduce the size of Lclean Plus without making it no longer closed under concatenation. So now we know that Lclean Plus is the smallest set that contains all of the elements from L that is closed under concatenation. So by our previous definitions, we know that Lclean Plus is the closure of L under concatenation. So from this, you should now know how the clean star and clean plus operators are related to each other and the fact that L clean plus is the closure of L under concatenation.